Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm doing another live stream. Um, today is just, uh, you know, one of the same old, same old live streams. Um, I'm just trying to figure out something. Here we go. Okay, let me mute that. All right, so, so far no one's in the chat yet, but soon we should be able to get people in this. Um, I could have sworn that my thing said stop broadcast, and was, or not stop broadcast, start broadcast, and I was like, I restarted. What are you telling me that I don't already know? Anyways, I'm just trying to set everything up because I've got to. Let's see. I'll put the chat over to the side like that, just so that we can see what we are doing, what we are dealing with. Oh, wasn't supposed to go to that. So I will be talking about New York Comic Con stuff. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's see. All right, hello in the chat. No, why do I keep going to that? Don't want to go to that. That's not what I meant to do. All right, hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian. Now I can officially start this, doing the live stream. And today we are going to talk about the New York Comic Con stuff coming up. Um, why I have a Lego bag on my floor. It was for a base plate, so there you go. Um, funny enough, it, I'm going to go into this. Funny enough, that is the first Lego base plate that I've actually owned, which uh, my family is like, what the hell, that's your first? How, how is that possible? When we were kids, we had so many base plates that we didn't even know what to do with them. Like, well, let's just have one. I have never owned a base plate. So, yeah. Anyway, so New York Comic Con stuff. I'll be talking about updates on what's going on. I'm not sure which one you guys want me to start on. Do you guys want me to start on the New York Comic Con stuff? Or do you want me to start on the updates? Let me know. Um, what else is going on? Uh, and I'm also going to talk about random stuff, as per usual. This isn't going to be a long live stream, I don't think. I know I've said that before, and then it turns out it's going to be a long live stream. It's only going to be myself. Usually I have some other people join in. Uh, this one's just going to be me, um, so there's that. But uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin with uh, talking to you guys. Chris Vellner is in the chat. He's so far the only one in the chat. I'm not too surprised by that uh, because what what do my live streams have to offer that's entertaining? Nothing. What the hell's on my hand? I don't know. It looked like blood. I don't think it was blood. I think it was toothpaste. It was just kind of weird. Okay. With that out of the way. I saw a spider today, and it freaked me out, and it was at the, the foot of my feet, and it was freaky. It was the freakiest thing ever. Hey, Chris, uh, can you tell me if I am visible on the live stream? Uh, I'm looking forward to Power of the Prime figures. Yes, me too, especially with the new ones coming out. Oh, my God. Well, I guess they're all new because they're not yet released, so yay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the spider at the edge of my feet, it was freaking me out, and I was scared. I pooped. It was so freaky. I do not like spiders at all. Uh, they just freak the hell out of me. I, I got to feel bad for them because, well, they just they live their lives. You know, they didn't choose to be a spider. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't like spiders at all. Ugh. Um, so I also have to explain one thing, uh, Cherry Bomb Toys, you know, the store that hosts the Victoria's Ultimate Hobby and Toy Fair. Uh, oh, uh, someone else is in the chat. Okay, so Cherry Bomb Toys, the store that, uh, that hosts the toy fair that I usually go to. You know, I've picked up a lot of figures from them. Like uh, you can see on, on the shelf right behind me, um, 
I believe the, uh, let's see, the, the Bulkhead, the Prowl, Optimus Prime, uh, the Prey King, uh, let's see, uh, Starscream, the Smoke Screen, and this is just from this shelf. Uh, let's see, any of those? No. Uh, any from the shelf. Uh, the Starscream, uh, Cyberverse Commander, the Breakdown Cyberverse Legion, the Optimus Prime right here, the Sideswipe from R&D. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. Uh, not the Drift. Uh, the Jazz from Takara, the uh, Silver Viacon. Uh, let's see, what else did I pick up? I pick up Hotshot, Ratchet, a couple of, uh, or just just one Viacon, I believe. Uh, it might have been the Takara one, Arachnid, uh, Rumble, uh, the Takara Rumble, I mean. Uh, Wild Rider, I believe the Cup, I could have a, yes, the Cup, my first edition, Bulkhead. Uh, so many of these figures, and that's just from this shelf, uh, the Megatron Dreadwing in the back. Um, and, and that's just from the shelf alone. You know, there's other stuff from Generations and whatnot I'm not going to get into. But the store itself, their window got smashed recently. And I imagine it is one of the most scariest things to know that your store has a broken window because immediately you think, okay, someone broke into the store. Uh, I don't believe... I, I mean, I, I definitely know no one uh, grabbed anything from the store because it, it just looked too small. It, it just seemed like someone was really angry for whatever reason, and they just decided to punch a hole through the window. So it's still freaky because this is a family-owned store. You know, they have the family and whatnot. Um, I can't imagine what they're going through. At the same time, I also had a bear right outside my window last night, and that was freaky. But, I mean, he didn't really do anything. He just minded his own business. Um, but still kind of scary at the same time. But I, I still can't imagine what it's like to be at at that store and have your window smashed and whatnot. I, I don't believe anyone was working at the store at the same time. Uh, I don't believe that anyone was there at the time. So no one got hurt or anything like that. It must have happened in, like, the middle of the night. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a freaky thing to think about because, you know, it's, it's just, why, why would someone do this? You know, a grizzly, I, I didn't actually see if it was a bear. It could have been a, a cougar for all I know. All I know is it was a big animal. It was right outside eating the plum tree that I have beside here. I know it was a big animal. Um, some members of my family is trying to deny it, like, well, you didn't see it. You didn't know what it was. No, it was a big animal. I could hear it breathing. It was big. I, I, could, I, I know it was big. Um, so it was either like a big cat or maybe like a, a small to medium sized bear or something like that. I don't know. Um, I mean, it was big enough to reach the branches. There's that. Um, so the point that I was trying to get across is I want you guys to go to their Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash cherry bomb toys. Um, I will link it at some point in the description, uh, right now of this video. I want you all to go to the Facebook page and just simply like the Facebook page. You know, uh, let me see. Maybe I can edit it from here. Uh, no, it's not allowing me to do that. Um, let's see. Okay, edit. I just want to see if I can add this to the description. www.facebook.com. It's funny because I just went to Cherry Bomb Toys on Tuesday. It was like two days before this happened. Uh, let's see. So if you restart this uh, page, it should send, uh, it should show a link in the description now for Cherry Bomb Toys. I want you all to go 
to the Facebook page for Cherry Bomb Toys and support them for what just happened with their the window getting smashed. It, it's freaky. Um, so I want you guys all to do that. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the people here. Let's give a shout out. Uh, actually, before that, I'm now hit with the uh, demonetized or limited ad things on videos. And it's odd because most of the uh, the videos that were taken were live streams. So I'm not sure if this live stream will have the same effect. But that's been going now, uh, around now. It, it's also funny because a lot less videos have been taken by that than I originally thought. Like, a Nadia reviewer, I don't think a single episode has been taken from that. So, Chris Vilner, Shockwave151, Bumblebee, uh, I believe that's 5-1, yes. I can barely read right now. Uh, Julian Teddy Bears, uh, let's see, Swag Lewis 21 Alex K9, Aiden... Uh, Tardif, uh, the fan of Transformers anime and other stuff, CJ Weems, uh, Mr. Magic Man 2.0, uh, Flame Flame Drummond says no, okay, uh, Bumblebee Flem Flemister, uh, Flamester, something like that, uh, Trans Aaron 38, wow, it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, Hero Prime. Master Builder 164 Gaming and Reviews. Hello, guys. What is up? Brian X. Travis Knight. Uh, that's hilarious. My most anticipated figure for Power of the Primes is the Power of the Prime Deluxe Jazz. Yes, out of the Dinobot Combiner and Optimus Prime and Rodimus Jazz is the one I'm most excited. You know what? There's there's no shame in that. You just said my name. That's amazing. Well, I just, I just said everyone's names. Uh... I'm going Super Saiyan. Oh, no. Definitely, bro. Long time no see. Yeah. Uh, Fortress Maximus IDW. Uh, not much is going on. Uh, why live stream at night from Tan Master? Because I figured why not. It, it's only like nine. So, you know, I don't think people remember time zones too often. Uh, definitely excited for the Dinobot Combiner and also the Terracons. I'm mostly excited for the Terracons. I was hoping they'd do that during the Combiner Wars. I was thinking they weren't, but now we got Terracons, and I'm excited. And I'm excited for my birthday, which is in a month on the 31st. Happy early birthday. Uh, the white bumblebee name entered. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, for me, it's 11. Uh... Let's talk about uh, this, the custom, Wreck and Ruin. I did it. I finished Wreck and Ruin. Some people aren't uh, too happy with it, but hey, it's fine as long as I'm happy with it, and I am. A couple of loose joints in the hips, but that's pretty much not much going for it. Uh, I mean, it's got four legs, so I, I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, someone had mentioned that the wings should... Uh, be weapons or for combine or combiner for transformer it should have uh the wings as weapons i'm not sure if uh you can use the wings as weapons if you want although this is just mine uh someone asked me hey brian could you make a one of them for me uh this took me a month to make and i like to move on to the next project so no, and also it was difficult because I had to make eight of the same thing for this guy on certain uh, steps. So yeah, most of that is also I have to eyeball it. I don't do the measurements and whatnot. Uh, uh, that toy looks cool. Thank you. It's a completely cardboard custom. Uh, let's see. Oh, almost forgot about Rodimus. Rodimus looks cool. Uh, I got a lot of things on my birthday. Okay, I got Leader Dragonstorm. Ooh, another Berserker. You could repaint it as Crowbar or something. Uh, although I think we're getting a Crowbar, so you might want to wait on that. Uh, okay, I got Leader... Oh, I just read that. Uh, Human Alliance Jazz. Wow. MPM3 Bumblebee and Last Night Cogman. That's cool. Uh, thank you, Aiden. Uh, hello, at the last night. Uh... Cardboard is nice. Yes, it is. Uh, 
Oh, that's just my reaction to it. Okay. All right. So I got a couple of things. We're we're going to move on to NYCC stuff in a second. I just want to talk about this. Uh, thank you for repeating stuff in the chat, Bumblebee. I'm going to completely ignore you now. I, I told you many a times, don't repeat yourself. You keep doing it. So I'm going to ignore you completely now. Um, so let's uh, talk about my birthday stuff. Windblade. All right. I got this recently. It looks cool. Uh, finally, they got the deco right after three tries from previous Windblades. I'm talking about the two robots in the skies ones. Not that I hate those figures. It's just should have been this paint scheme. Don't know why it's not. But anyways, we finally got it. And they still didn't do Windblade right. I don't know why it's so hard to do Windblade right for these guys. All they have to do is do the RID in this color. But that's all they need to do. And they can't do that. But what sucks about this is, okay, it, it's not the thick parts or thick. I, I have no major issue with that. Um, my problem is the loose head and the feet. Don't know what's with Windblade and the feet. Don't know why that's the biggest issue. Um, but for some reason, they decide, hey, we're going to put her feet on an angle now. Like there's a curve. I don't know why they decide to do this because it makes it so annoying to pose. Also, I just don't care for the swords, but it's the Titan's Return sword stuff. So, yeah. That's just how it is. Uh, Twin Twist, I'm not going to really go into too much, but uh, he's pretty cool too. It's just that he wasn't my uh, October birthday stuff. And by October birthday, I had uh, the birthday party in October and my birthday was in September. Anyways, let's talk about this guy, Misfire. Oh my god, Misfire's great. Get Misfire. He is in the best colors. This pinkish purple, I'm going to call it pink color. Um, just looks fantastic. I love this thing. Uh, molding is great. Transformation is a little tricky with the wings. Not that it's complicated. It's just you want to move one thing and then the other thing gets stuck. And then you have to, yeah, it's... Just a lot to do in one step, but uh, still, great figure. And I do know there's a combination for these guys. <clears throat> uh, let's talk about the other two Transformers I got on my birthday. The Last Night Hound. I thought, okay, Last Night Hound, going to be great, right? He actually looks the part this time. Uh, when you compare it to the Age of Extinction one, I can't even remember why I like the look of the Age of Extinction one. I mean, great weapons on that. That's definitely an improvement over this. But after that, I'm like, yeah, I can't figure out why I even like that one or the look of it. I don't have that figure, but the Age of Extinction one just looks a little weird to me. This one looks like Hound. This one looks like straight up like Hound. It's just the feet don't look right. Uh, but I do like the attempt in the transformation. They're not good feet. Um, what I do to stop the wobbliness is I take the front of the truck and I just tuck that underneath the wheel. <clears throat> and that helps it. Uh, but what bothers me is the waist is a little too loose. And some of the other joints are a little too loose. I don't like the weapons. I think the head could have been better. Um, it's just not as good as what I was hoping for. It's not a bad figure by any means. Um, but it's definitely not as good as I was hoping for. Definitely looks the part. I don't like the color green, but it, it looks the part. It's just, mm. and, and someone was arguing me, oh, that's not more accurate compared to the Age of Extinction to the movie on screen version. I have it. Yeah, that's a little more accurate, in my opinion. That one is way more accurate, in my opinion. Excluding the weapons, of course, that one's a better-looking uh, hound. Um, and then we move on to Megatron. This is the Voyager. This is the best... Megatron that ever came out for the movie line. This is the best The Last Night toy that's come out for the line. 
This might even be the best movie toy out of any of them. The only problems I have with it is the head's a little loose on this little joint, but it's not like I'm shaking it around and it's moving. And this back little piece just moves around a little too much. That's it. Bye, Tan. Uh, but that's it. I, I have no other issues. None that I could think of. Would be nice to have the uh, face mask feature, but that's like nitpicking at this point. I seriously cannot think of a single other thing that I find wrong about this toy. It is, it, it has an amazing alt mode. Uh, let's look at the kibble for the robot mode uh, for the alt mode. Okay, you got these jet boosters that actually help with its look. Uh, all right. Oh, I thought, okay. Will you get Nitro Zeus? I hope to get Nitro Zeus. Uh, and then also the, the nose cone, but other than that, not much. Um, in robot mode, yeah, it's got, or in alt mode, yeah, it's got robot mode kibble. I don't really care for that kind of stuff, especially when it comes to a jet transformer. It's like you're not going to get it perfect. And also it's an alien jet. I don't really care too much. The weapon is cool. The turret cannon thing is nice. He's got a great medieval look. Like, if you're going for an evil Megatron, this is the one to go for. I don't care about the first movie, second movie. I like the third movie, Megatron. Uh, but Age of Extinction, Galvatron, I don't really care for. It doesn't look like anything like what I would consider Megatron. It just looks like a clunky mess that's a bad guy. That's pretty much it. This looks like a Megatron that's worthy of the name Megatron. Again, has its fusion cannon like the G1, has the face like the movie, so it's like, it, you know, that's not... The, the previous movie Megatrons are, aren't completely disowned. Um... You're ruining the... Oh, <laughs> I thought someone was saying fuck me for ruining the live stream. Um, but yeah, Voyager Megatron. I cannot recommend it enough. It is such a badass looking figure. It really is. So evil looking. Like, like that's one of the big things is... None of the other Megatrons look too evil looking to me. Uh, the Dark of the Moon one did because it looked like it was rusted away, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the the Galvatron, you know, he kind of had a dark look and beady eyes, but that is pretty much it. This is fucking evil. That's the Megatron to go for. <clears throat> Getting uh, Combiner Wars Megatron. I, I, oh, Combiner Wars. I, I was thinking Titans Returns. I have the Combiner Wars Megatron. I, I think that is the best Megatron I have. I, I, I don't know about uh, the Masterpiece movie, or movie, uh, Masterpiece G1 Megatron. Uh, Bumblebee, I ask you not to repeat yourself, and you keep repeating yourself, so I keep ignoring you. Uh, let's see. Dude, I'm 13. Watch your language. I'll say whatever the hell I want, okay? If I want to say fuck titty, fuck ass, cracker, fuck titty, fuck, I will. Is cracker even a swear? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get to the New York Comic Con stuff, okay? Because I'm sure you guys are waiting for that. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> So, how are we going to do this? Start screen share. So, eventually, I do plan on doing a, a Transformers Insane Asylum episode with all this, but for right now, let's talk about the, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, let's start off with Grotesque. I want this toy. I am so pissed off that I never got him from the Hasbro toy shop, but he just looks so cool. Look at this thing. Oh, it looks disgusting, and I love it. 
uh, for my birthday, should I buy The Last Night Wave 3 Bumblebee or a Lego Batman movie Clayface? I think you might have more fun with Clayface, if I'm honest. Um, but I don't know much about that. Uh, anyways, Grotesque comes with a little Scorpnock Headmaster, which looks amazing. I love that. Um, but this is a remold from the uh, Double Cross figure or Twinferno, whatever you want to call it. And I think it looks fantastic. Look at that disgusting looking head. Uh, the alt mode is fantastic. Someone's going to say, oh my god, that is the ugliest looking thing I have ever seen. How can anyone like it? That's actually the point. It's meant to be disgusting. It's one of those 80s toys that are just like, that is meant to be gross. That is the purpose of it, and that's why it's good. And then the robot mode looks fantastic. The headmaster for him looks nice, too. I wish I got him uh, when he was available. Hopefully, he'll be available again sometime soon. But he just looks great. I want this guy. I want him so bad. Uh, let's see. So we got that. Uh, we have some coverage picks. I'm not going to... Actually, maybe I shouldn't look through these photos. But the, the Volcanicus they got looks very cool. I like the mild colors to it, too. Like, it's mostly gray, and then it's got bits of gold. Those are Dinobot colors, which I really do like. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so I'm not going to go through those. I'm going to go through these. Let's go through these. These are the Prime, Power of the Prime stuff. Let's go through all these. So we got Metal Hawk, and Metal Hawk comes with... Okay, uh, Vector Prime is with... Okay, let's, let's read from the top here. Okay, Alphatron with Landmine, Alchemist Prime with uh, Submarauder, and Vector Prime with Melhawk. I'm not going to remember all their names, but whatever. So let's go ahead and go through these. So this is Metal Hawk, and he looks okay, but I kind of wish that I got the uh, <clears throat> uh, the five pack Metal Hawk because um, that looks really cool. Not to say this looks bad; it's just I want that little Metal Hawk figure. Uh, but looks very cool with the little headmaster. I think that looks nice. Uh, I'm still calling them headmasters. Uh, that's the gun mode, and as far as the gun mode is concerned, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, it gives them something to do. Uh, the figure itself looks pretty good. I hope it's got that silver on the face, because that looks nice. Uh, so this would be the Vector Prime. I can tell from the middle center section right here. Uh, looks very cool. Reminds me of the Galaxy 4 Cybertron uh, Vector Prime, especially with the gear around it, because one of the big things is uh, time for uh, Vector Prime. Uh, this is the Alchemist Spark. And this is Summer Ardor, which uh, has that aquatic look to him, which is very nice. I love the little uh, Headmaster, Prime Master guy. Uh, oh, look at the deco on this. This is the Alpha Trion one, which looks very nice. I do like that. And he comes with the Landmine figure, which all I'm thinking of is the, uh, uh, the Cybertron Landmine. Very nice. I love the look of that. I am screen sharing, am I not? Yes, I am. And then there's the Grotesque again. Very cool. There's the box. Here is the Rodimus Unicronus. You can also call him the Nemesis uh, Rodimus because it does have the Decepticon logo on the front there. You could also call him the uh, Shattered Glass Hot Rod if you really want. I am just super excited for this. The alt mode looks fantastic. The color scheme looks nice. I love the deco on the front there. It looks metal as hell. And it just looks really cool. Love the flames coming out of the pipes. That is very nice. And then the robot mode with the beard, uh, you know, and the, the mustache looks fantastic. I love the look of it. Looks metal as hell, as I said. Metal as hell. I really cannot wait for this. This looks really cool. And then as far as that is concerned, that looks great as well. I, I am... I'm blown away by the look of this, and I really want it. I think it looks fantastic. I want the original one, too. Just looks very cool. And then we move on to Wind Charger, which is also a Wave 1 figure, and he looks pretty good. Um, he does have the Prime Master sitting inside there. It almost looks like you are able to sit two Prime Masters, but I can't really guarantee that. Um, but I also love the sunroof on the top there. That is very nice. Uh, just overall looks very cool. I love the alt mode. Uh, very nice, but I'm not sure. I, I don't think it tops the Combiner Wars one, 
Uh, and then going on the, or not tops, this definitely tops the Combiner Wars one. Uh, then going on the robot mode, yes, that tops the Combiner Wars one. But does it top the uh, Transformers, uh, what was it, uh, Reveal the Shields one? I actually really like the Reveal the Shields one more than this. I'm not sure how I feel about the head itself. I understand why the head looks like this, but eh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, let's put the chat. Did it all of a sudden stop? I'm going to restart this, see if... See if it's just my computer. Oh, yeah, it was just my computer. I'm sorry, guys. I missed all these. All right, so Wind Charger looks great. I want the Reveal the Shields one. Uh, Reveal the Shields looks fantastic, too. Uh, I mean, I have it. It's great. Um, but I also have the Combiner uh, Wars one. And I don't mind getting the uh, Titans Returns one. I, I don't know. I, just, I, I got a whole bunch of Wind Chargers, more than I really know what to do with. Uh, go to the CW card. I, I You mean the... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see the I'll see the card art in a second. Uh, but yeah, Wind Charger looks fantastic. Uh, how many cops does it take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, they the boy Wind Charger kind of looks like Space Ghost with that head. Oh yeah, it kind of does. I was trying to figure out what does that look like. Uh, you know what it looks like? It it looks like uh, one of the '90s animations of something like like. You know when they just got into CGI and they had to use it on everything because, oh my god, this is the coolest thing. It's so trippy. That's what it looks like. Um, make them fight for your love. Uh, none. They shoot the room for... Oh, Master Builder. Now I can't monetize this video. Uh, Scrap Null is coming back again. Uh, his head, uh, yes, I killed. That's what it looks like. So, uh, Scrapnel is coming back again for the lineup. I said that I thought that Scrapnel was coming back, and he was. Um, I think that's fine uh, that they want to re, uh, you know, re-release him. Um, I understand why they didn't re-release Tailgate because it looks like they're doing Tailgate at some point. Uh, hi, TFNL, or, t I'm sorry, TF Reviews NL. What's up? Rich does things. Hello. Um, Space Charger, win to win. Um, hold on. I'll be right back. Ah, shit. Fuck. I keep stepping on stuff. Sorry, there was something in my throat. I couldn't get it out. Okay, uh, working on a custom shred glass swoop. Ooh, that sounds cool. Um, mm. <sighs> Am I the only one to notice that there has been a transformer that turns into a bus? Yeah, I've, I've noticed that uh, we need more bus transformers. Where is the love for buses? I guess it's because... Um, I guess it's because buses remind kids of like, oh, no, school. So it's like, why would you sell a bus? You know? Um, but I have bus uh, Hot Wheels. So, you know. Uh, then again, I, I got that in a big haul. And I didn't actually purchase it by itself. But why am I talking about that? Uh, would you buy uh, shrapnel? I already have shrapnel. I, I have the uh, the original IDW lineup uh, shrapnel that came with the reflector. Um, it, it's actually a really good toy. Uh, this is fantastic. If you guys had missed out, I know that um, my friend Mason, I think, missed out on getting this. So I think this is his opportunity to finally get all three of these guys. Uh, I mean a new one. 
Uh, I don't think... Uh, if you're talking about this, I, I don't have any plans on getting it. If they remake a new shrapnel, like completely redo it, yes, I would. Uh, you do need to get them? Well, there you go. So, uh, let's go ahead and continue. There's the robot mode. It's pretty much, from what I can tell, the exact same thing, except for, I think, the Decepticon logo, uh, at least for the picture, might be different, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be the same in person, but it pretty much is the exact same toy. Uh, yeah, and the reflector sucks, so you're not missing much. If anyone's going after the one ref, uh, reflector, uh, you don't really need to. It, it's not a good toy. Oh, will you look at that. That is pretty awesome. Apparently, he comes with a anti-spark matrix, which is very cool. I do like that. Uh, Bendabus Prime. That'd be cool. Um Aiden, uh, there is a Venom Insecticon that came out in the 80s. That is what he's referring to. Uh, so don't don't jump uh, don't jump to conclusions. There's a there's a bunch of uh, other stuff that has the same names. Like there's a uh, I believe in DC there's a character named Bumblebee, and of course you know we got Transformers with Bumblebee. So yeah. Um, anyways. So, this looks very cool. I, I do like that. Uh, that would be the landmine, which looks pretty cool. Uh, that would be the metalhawk, which looks very nice. And then that's the scrapnel, which looks really cool. I, I do enjoy that, uh, the picture. Uh, kind of makes it look like he's got the, the brain dish on the top there. But it's still nice. Submarider looks very cool in the, uh, the artwork. Uh, Wind Charger looks very nice. He looks a lot better in this picture than he does for the actual toy. Uh, who wants to hear a racist joke? Not me. Uh, Reflector needs to be a deluxe. No, he needs to be a Legion. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, Titans Returns Wind Windspan and Cloudbreaker is in Canada. So I might get this guy i might get the two-pack finally uh and also this is a rumor going around that we might have our first image of the movie masterpiece barricade whether it's canceled or not we might get the movie barricade at some point in time so let's hope for that um <laughs> let's move on and it is going to be the first movie uh, barricade, not the not the new last night barricade. So let's take a look at the Terracons. This is what I'm excited for. This is Ripper Snapper. Oh my God, he looks like Ripper Snapper. <laughs> um, oh my God, this looks amazing. I oh i cannot wait to have the full team and combine them into a bomb nest. this is definitely going to be the the main set that i'm going to go after um because he just looks awesome oh my god it's a disgusting animal that's creature ho oh. uh they should make a repugnance figure from ripper snapper yes they should um, but yeah, uh, Ripper Snapper looks great in his alt mode. I love the cannons on the top. And in robot mode, he looks pretty good, too. Uh, we have already seen this toy, though. So, you know, we, we've seen the prototype pictures. But still, it's very exciting to see. I, I cannot wait for Ripper Snapper and Abominus, the whole set. And they have uh, pretty good paint applications. You know, you got the light blue, you got the yellow, you got the red in there. So, very nice. I, I do like that. Uh, and then we have Cutthroat, a.k.a. Uh, Terror something, whatever the Transformers Prime uh, toys called it, which, uh, if I'm willing to bet, is probably a remold of the Swoop figure. I really don't mind. Um, I think it looks cool. Now, when you take a look at the body, it just looks like the figure folded up. I really don't mind, you know, some of the original Generation 1 figures were kind of like that. Uh, there should be a man, bear, pig, terracon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he had Ebola. No, that's an offensive joke. 
you've offended me and my and my duke. Uh, anyways, uh, cutthroat, very nice. Love the head. Love the look of this. It's just amazing. I cannot wait for this guy. Um, oh, he just looks so cool. He looks so Decepticon and everything. Oh God, I want this guy. And again, paint applications. They actually have them. They're not simply painted. Oh, Blot looks so cool. Oh, he looks so nice. Look at that head. Look at the head. Uh, Sinner Twin. You know, they're, yeah, yeah, that's coming up in a second. But my God, Blot looks so cool. I love the cannon on the top there. I think, is that the combiner port being used to attach the gun? I really hope so. That looks pretty cool. Um, they might be stickers. No, I don't think they're stickers. I, I think they're all uh, deco. Uh, oh, look at the look at the sculpting on his face. That is really nice looking. There's some detail going on in that. Very cool. Uh, the gun looks simple, but very nice. He just looks so cool. I really cannot wait for this guy. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm ignoring the chat. I'm just trying to focus on this. I'm noticing that too many people are posting uh cutthroat has a head from one of the guys from monstructor possible repaint uh, you yeah, know it could be uh and then we also have this guy which um does not have the same weapon i, I thought he had the same weapon no he doesn't um center twin uh a little basic i will not lie uh, almost looks like one of the, the little little kids' toys, like one of the robots in the skies, crash combiners or something like that. Uh, needs a little bit more paint, especially with the back legs. Doesn't look too bad. It's just it looks like the simpler one. In robot mode, it looks fine. I actually like the chunky chest of this. That looks very nice. Um, and again, you got some red. You got some purple. Looks very nice. I do like that. Then we get into Hunger, which this one, I believe, does have stickers inside there. Uh, not the greatest alt mode. I mean, you could tell that these are the arms and then the low legs don't really look too good. But uh, just got Transmetal, Cheetor, and Waspinator willing to sell. Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, this, this still looks fine, you know? And also, they base this off the uh, silver bolt figure which is really cool uh i i love the look of the uh the silver bolt i think he is the best torso design so that's cool uh there's the robot mode the robot mode looks fine uh not sure how i feel about the body i don't know that's probably just me but um oh my god <laughs> i just i cannot wait for the set as a whole and his head is a big purple thing isn't that cool uh, no, he is not a retool of Silverbolt. I checked. Uh, and while he does have some cues from Silverbolt, and even some of the detail bits uh, look like they're from Silverbolt, every detail bit that I found is different compared to Silverbolt. So I don't think he is. I could be wrong, but every little bit of detail that I found on this guy uh, is different in some places. Uh, so I don't think he shares any parts, but it's still cool. Uh, they got pics of Abominus head in the hands pics. Oh, I can't wait for that. So I can recreate How to Train Your Dragon? Yes. I love How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, God. I cannot wait for these guys. Why is Ripper Snapper the only card in robot mode? I don't know. But, yeah, I cannot wait for these. That looks awesome. So let's take a look at some of the other photos uh, rate. Uh, let's see. T -t 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 no, let's let's go through this. All right. So provided by TFW and Toy Arc. Let's uh, go through Volcanicus. Oh, my God. Does he look so cool? I love how the tail flips out. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about some parts of this, but oh my god, I love how the uh, the arms tried to fill out this section, or the hand pieces tried to fill that out. Uh, it looks like you'll be able to spread out his hands further. Like on the original ones, you can only have them uh, partly open, 
for the uh, for the combiner hands. These ones look like you can open them up a little bit more, which is good. Uh, they show Predaking's wings. Yes, I, I saw the prototypes. Um, so yeah, this is Volcanicus. Other people are going to call it Beast. You know, that's fine. Um, but it looks very cool. They added the weapons to this guy, which is very nice. Uh, you can see the combination uh, enigma that comes with the figure. Uh, very nice head. I like the uh, gold bits on the front there. That looks pretty cool. I uh, love the Grimlock head right there on the front. That's nice. Uh, just overall, I am really excited for this. And someone uh, had mentioned that he's got a mammoth crotch. Because there's the trunk and there's the ears. There's the head. It looks like a mammoth. Which I think is actually really cool. Because it makes him look like a Power Rangers figure. Or like a, one of the older figures. Um, like that type of lineup. Um, and I, I love that. It looks very nice. It just looks so awesome. I love this. And you can add stuff to the, uh, the hands and feet and whatnot. It's just... Oh my god. He looks... Oh, I love that head. The head kind of reminds me of the uh, the fall of Cybertron Grimlock. Uh, and I didn't notice this, but he has teeth inside there. So he does kind of look like Beast from the comics. Uh, so I think that is really cool. Uh, everyone's making Beast puns. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, it's just, oh my god. I cannot wait for this toy. He looks amazing. I am definitely getting him, uh, at least most of those characters. And then we got this guy, uh, which has blue hands for whatever reason. They should all be purple. Don't know why they got different colored ones. I think that's a little weird, but whatever. Um, but there's the Ripper Snapper in hand, which looks very nice. Uh, do they have two? Each? Oh, no, just one for each mode. Uh, got the chats going like crazy. I, I can't read all the, all the comments. Uh, but yeah, it looks very cool. Look at the head in, in there. It's got a nice row of teeth, and it's looking like... Uh, Ripper Snapper on the side. Or not Ripper Snapper. Uh, cutthroat on the side. Very nice. This is amazing. I totally agree. Uh, and then there's the bird animal mode, which looks very cool. Uh, loving that. I hope they do the Pretender set. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I hope they do that at some point in time. I started this and I shall end it, so stop the beast puns. Uh, look at Sinner Twin, looks very nice. Uh, does Ripper Snapper have mouth articulation? It seems like, yep, there's a pin on the side there. It looks like he can open and close his mouth. Uh, I know that these two can. Um, but yeah, very cool. There's the hunger, and there's the foot piece right there in nice, bright purple. Oh, that looks so cool. Very nice. I love the look of that. I cannot wait to see the combined mode of him. Seems like we'll get that in the weekend. Monstructor. That'd be nice. Blot. Oh, God. I cannot wait for Blot. He is the coolest one out of the set, in my opinion. He just looks so nice. Uh, and then, okay. So we have the Grotesque. Oh, God. He looks so cool. I love the look of that. The animal mode is nice, and everything about it looks so cool. Uh, oh, my God. I'm sorry that I keep rushing through the pictures. He just looks so nice. Oh, 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 I want him! And there's the Scorpnock head, which definitely looks like Scorpnock. I'm not denying that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so on the card, you get some stuff. Grotesque and Fengal. Okay, so that's where Fengal comes from. Uh, and then there's the uh, Scrabnel card, and then the League Maxima card. There's some more cards for your cardy goodness. And there's the Wind Charger, which uh, looks better in hand, but kind of... His plastic looks like the old plastic that's kind of degrading to that kind of yellowish color to it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. At the same time, I kind of like it because it does make it feel like a nostalgic toy, um, which is hilarious. Uh, yeah, these pictures are on TFW 2005. Uh, very nice. I love that he's got the windows on the roof, uh, sunroof. That is pretty cool. 
Uh, Scrapnel looks the same as the previous Scrapnel, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. I'm gonna actually going to skip over that. So this is Landmine, which looks pretty cool. I got to say, I, I do like the look of this. Um, definitely reminds me of the original Pretender, so that's cool. Uh, hopefully they do a Pretender combiner at some point. That would be nice. There is the Nemesis, uh, or the, the Rodimus Unicronus. And I think that looks very cool. Look at the black and purple on this guy, especially the purple on the chest. Oh, I want him so badly. Uh, stop tagging sexy Brian. <laughs> uh oh my god he just looks so cool and there's police outside because he just looks so good uh oh my god there's a lot of police going somewhere oh god i i'm sorry i keep blushing over this oh look at the purple right there oh make him out of cardboard yeah that'd be funny Manza, did you see my new cardboard figure? Uh, oh. We, we knew that we were going to get this. I just didn't know it was going to look this good. Selling Zombie Optimus. Ask if interested. I, okay. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the Zombie Optimus made out of? Oh, that looks nice. Oh, look at the Matrix. I already have a black Matrix, so that that's nothing new in my collection. But, oh, my God. I, oh, I want it. Oh. And there's the two other uh, head ma or Headmaster, Prime Master guys. Uh, yeah, uh, this guy looks fun. Oh! I didn't notice that, but their heads go through inside there, so that it fills out that section. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. Uh, plastic paint and awesome. No, I mean, uh, Rich, I, I mean, what Optimus did you use? Like, was it the Robots in Disguise? Was it the movie? Was it Prime? Was it what, which Optimus? Um, but yeah, this is so cool. Um... What do you mean by scale? Uh, let's see. Like a hoodie. Yeah, like a hoodie. Oh, these 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 Prime Masters, the, the the shells, they're hoodies. If I don't get all the Terracons, then I'm buying Dreadwing uh, and or Darkwing uh, for a team. Uh, for my team, Combiner War Cyclonus. That'd be cool. Uh, there's the wings, so I guess you can pop them off and attach them to one of the five characters. Uh, that looks pretty cool as far as the wings are concerned. I cannot wait to see uh, them painted. I use the small generations of Optimus. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'd like to see that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, very, very awesome to look at the wingspan. I wish it was bigger, though, but I'm not complaining about this. Why is there a ghost? Because Halloween is coming up. That's why all the candy corn and whatnot. I wonder if the Matrix is the same size as the one you have. I don't think it is. I, I think the one I have is smaller. Actually, I can figure that out right now. Because you attach a Prime Master into the Matrix. So I just need to find my Matrix. Okay. So the Masterpiece Matrix is smaller than the Matrix coming out. I can tell you that much. Uh, oh, look at the detail. That's an impressive amount of detail. Anyone want some tight mess to crunch? There's Halloween and Dark Energon and regular. I wonder if T-Fan Page 101 will become a Transformer. I want to build my own custom Transformer where it's just like my own self-character or something. But yeah. So someone had pointed out that there was a picture of the Abominus head or something. I have not seen that picture. Oh, okay, here they are. I thought I'd stopped at Ripper Snapper. I guess I missed it somehow. Oh, they just went back to those photos. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, oh, look at the detail in that. That looks impressive. Uh, so he's just trying to transform it or something. Oh! 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 Oh, uh, just give me a second. Oh, oh. No, I don't think it has split that antennas. Or maybe it does. I don't know. No, I'm not seeing flip out antennas. Oh. No, I'm not crying. I'm just, I'm blown away. Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. It's just, oh my God, I can't wait for this. It looks too good. It's, it just hit me all at once. That, that's pretty much it. Did I bust? No. Holy crap. Anyways. Onyx Scrapnel. So it's not Scrapnel, it's Onyx Scrapnel? Or something? I don't know. That's weird. Hey! Did they just confirm another head, the Prime Master character? What's on the side there? Because it looks like I know that they're the Prime Masters, but it almost looks like that's meant to go with Barrage, maybe? But I don't think so. No, because, okay, so those are all the other Prime Masters. I just find it weird that Scrapnel's got, unless you're supposed to add him with that, but that also doesn't make sense. I don't know. Um, all I know is, why is it Onyx Scrapnel? Is he, like, the leader of the Insecticons? I don't know. Uh, pics of the zombie Optimus are on my Instagram, Richard Thatcher, uh, 2003. Uh, fine, we'll go and see that. YouTube will allow me to copy that because sometimes I try to copy something and it just doesn't take me to it. Oh, uh, of course it would. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I don't use Instagram. Yeah? Okay. Sorry, someone's calling me. Do I need an account to look for it? Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Go to there and just look it up. I don't know. Uh, how long until Brian will come on his computer over the pictures? Uh, I'll have you know, I already did like three times. Uh, let's see. Have a spooktacular time at New York Comic Con. Has Brony Con... Uh, has... <laughs> I, I don't think they thought that through. Has Brony... <laughs> Has Brony Comic Con. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, oh, I want that. Why so bad? All right. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but uh, yeah, that is. Uh, those are foil stickers. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to hit back on this and I'll be right back. Just give me a sec, guys. Oh, no, I hit the bottle.
I'm back, mother bitches, motherfuckers. Ah, okay. Even though I said I'd be back, I, apparently people didn't listen. All right. If you want to see it on Google Plus, it's a repaint of the last night wave on Bumblebee, but I overdid the black, but I made the last night Bumblebees. Oh, you made you made a bumblebee! My goodness, uh, he is shooting or masturbating. I'll have you know, I do both at the same time. Uh, Brian, how come you never told us you took a shit? I did say I'll be right back. I didn't take a shit. I don't know what's this. What's this rumor about me taking a shit? I never take shits, except when I do. But I didn't this time. Why are we talking about? I don't know. I left for a couple of seconds and everyone starts being weird. I don't know. So I'm gonna talk about updates in a second. Um, sorry, I couldn't keep up with what's going on with the chat. We're talking about random stuff now. Yes, I think, I don't know. Pretty girls don't fart. I think that's a song. Uh, please look at my stupid stop motion T fan page one one. I will do that later, not now. Ooh, or you will die. Well, I can't. I, uh, I'll do it later. Not die. I mean, I mean, watch it. Uh, the stop motion. Something, something about shits and the. <laughs> Brian, you know what Titanfall is? Yes, I know what Titanfall is. Uh, stick puns too. Do you watch porno alone? No. I'll watch it with my Transformers in the background. Uh, um, are you a Rick and Morty fan? Uh, G Rick, uh, yeah, I watch, uh, G, uh, burp, uh, G, uh, uh, Rick, uh, G, uh, oh, G, uh, yeah, so watch Rick and Morty. I have no, you misspelled GIF. He said GF like girlfriend, but I said it was GIF instead because that was the joke, and I'm all like, I'm sad. How do you feel about Doritos and brownies having kids? I mean, it's about time they had kids, maybe. Uh, hashtag alone. Are you handicapped? I don't think so. Could be wrong. Uh, are you sure what is behind you is a green screen or a cardboard cutout? No, it's not. Boom, boom. And then it just gets knocked over. And you see a whole set. Uh, I made a meme by accident. Oh, no! Not, one, not a meme. Are you... Are you... I don't know. We are all broken. I think we are broken. Let's get swifty. Let's get swifty in here. Take off your pants and panties. Oh, we are getting swifty. Is Unicron going to be the Titan for 2020? Uh, that'd be cool, actually. Brian, what shockwave do you recommend? I only have CW shockwave. Follow Cybertron shockwave. Uh, I would say the Masterpiece, but it's a little too expensive. Uh, I do like the Prime, but it's not the best. So basically, Fall of Cybertron is pretty cool. They need to come out with the new Shockwave. You are so cool. <sighs> Stop lying. How do you feel about the Mega Constructs Heroes line? Uh, that's with, the. Um, Alien and all that. I, I think that's cool. I'm glad that they're doing that. Um, I do find it odd 
to think about because Lego has Lego dimensions and now it feels like Mega Constructs is trying to get all these licenses to do whatever now because Lego's doing the same thing now. Who knows? Maybe some Lego products will go over to uh, Mega Constructs after a while. Uh, they've done it before with Marvel, although I think that's going to stick with Lego now. Uh, they've done it before with Ninja Turtles. Uh, they, it, it's funny, Mega Blocks had Ninja Turtles, and then it was given to Lego, and then it was given back to Mega Blocks and Mega Constructs. Actually, I think it might have done that twice. I, I think they went to Mega Blocks and Lego, the Mega Blocks and Lego, the Mega Blocks. All I know is it, it's, it's changed at least once. They had Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then they went back to Mega Blocks at least once. I'm GR Swivel Lord. Swivel! MGO. Yeah, I don't think that's the real MGO. If it was, I'd be freaking out. It's not the real MGO. <laughs> I knew it wasn't. Uh, pictures of. Yeah, I, I tried to go to your Instagram. Like, oh. No, yeah, I, I I couldn't get to your Instagram. I, I couldn't find it. Um, an imposter M go. What next? Fake Optimus or you? Who knows? You're giving him ideas now. Uh, damn! I wish it was the real one. Hey, I wish it was the real one too. Okay, let's talk about updates. First of all. Let's talk about the reviews. Uh, actually, let's not talk about that just yet. Let's talk about the Transformers Insane Song. I'm going to go ahead and try to get an episode to come out soon because of all the New York Comic Con stuff going around. The problem with that is uh, New York Comic Con is going to be a couple days long, so it's definitely not going to be right away. I'm mostly trying to talk about like the newest updates and then whatever comes out for New York Comic Con, we're going to talk about as a whole. So I'm just going for the basic stuff. Uh, that's why I'm mostly gushing over stuff. I'm not really going to in-depth about the alt modes and whatnot. Uh, I will also try and do uh, before it's out stuff before December. Um, hopefully before November, I'll get at least some videos out. Uh, the problem with that is I'm working on the Canadian Reviewer stuff. I am going to be working on the five-year anniversary Canadian Reviewer episode. I am going to be working on the, um, uh, let's see, so there's that. I'm going to be working on uh, the Toy Fair stuff coming up. So there's a lot of stuff coming out that I need to focus on at this time before I do Before It's Out videos. So Before It's Out is not done, it's just I haven't, I haven't really taken the time to really focus on it. So, oh, shit, I hit the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> I tried to view the, the channel and I accidentally put someone in time out. Oh, no, and it was the real Jabi the Hung this whole time. No. I accidentally did that. I want to make it clear, I accidentally did that. Any chance of seeing Movie Edition at the rest of New York Comic Con? I think that's what they're going to do. I think we got, like, maybe one Generations figure coming out. Uh, that's the, um... Uh, who, who is she? Uh, the Alita One coming out, because I believe that's also a Wave 2 figure. Uh, and then we're going to see Wave 3 figures coming down in 2018. Um, so I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's going to be revealed. And then Abominus, of course, uh, maybe more in Predaking. So that's what's coming out, uh, hopefully, in New York Comic Con. And hopefully we get to see maybe some robots in the skies being splashed around. And then maybe some mo uh, movie edition figures. Um, I know someone's going to say, well, Robots in Disguise, it's canceled, it's done. There was a figure uh, set that was revealed during uh, Hascon that they didn't really focus on. It was the, uh, uh, the, the 
the Horn Beetle Decepticon with uh, Bisque Combiner. And they, di they didn't show anything too much about it. They just showed that that figure was coming out. Um, so there's that. Um, so please stop spamming the chat, everyone. Um, so, okay, now I lost track. Before it's out, more videos are coming out. Um, I, I was just talking about New York Comic Con. Okay. So I think movie edition stuff is coming out soon. Um, I'm going to start uh, removing people who are going to keep spamming the chat. So uh, put this user on timeout. Yes. You guys won't be completely removed from the chat. I'll just put you guys in timeout for the time being. Okay. Um. So, in fact, I should stop reading the chat at this point. I, I need to focus on what I'm talking about. Okay. Before it's out, coming out, uh, what else do I need to do over the weekend? So, I got the Toy Fair video coming out on the 15th, hopefully. Uh, if not, maybe the next day. Uh, because... Please save your questions while uh, when I'm done with this, okay? Um, when I'm done with the updates. So, yeah, Toy Fair stuff. Uh, Toy Fair video is going to come out either the day of or after the Toy Fair. Um, so that's going to come out soon. Uh, and then I also have to work on the five-year anniversary Canadian Reviewer. Uh Let's talk about the Canadian Reviewer in general. Actually, let's talk about let's talk about uh, the basic reviews. Um, I have the basic reviews for Twin Twist coming out and the mini shockwave that I got from the Tiny Turbos. So those have been filmed. The opening videos for Windblade, Misfire, Hound, and Megatron will be coming out soon. Uh, might be after the next week and I'll talk about why it's it's gonna be after the next week most likely so those opening videos will be coming out um it might be in one day depending on what I get from the toy fair but who knows um, or maybe I'll do it after the toy fair I don't know I'll figure that all out but opening videos are filmed they'll be up on the channel very shortly uh, this month so those opening videos and then hopefully i'll be able to film like just some simple reviews basic uh or just simple reviews whatever you know where i'm just talking to the camera just talking about whatever you know it's not like canadian reviewer where it's a little more elaborate no it's just me talking about the toy um so i might do that for the for those new figures i just got um but we'll have to see of course um so those so definitely the openings the before it's out videos will be worked on after halfway through this month um, or i might just film maybe a couple of them while i have free time i don't know but not actually release them uh the before it's out videos that i'll work on is everything that was revealed during hascon everything that was revealed uh this year that i never got to uh, from Power of the Primes, and uh, what's just been revealed. So all the Power of the Primes stuff that's coming out will be reviewed, uh, or we'll have a Before It's Out video. So, okay, Transformers Insane Asylum was what I was talking about. So Insane Asylum, I'll have the episode uh, recorded once I can get the group together, and it will be after New York Comic Con. I, I don't have a specific date. But I'm I'm working on that. Um, it might actually be after the 15th, but I don't want to wait that far. Um, but we'll have to see. So, yeah, simple reviews coming out. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what comes out when. I don't have a specific schedule for all these videos. Um, so there's that. Uh, Canadian Reviewer. 
most of the Ariel Bud reviews are filmed. The only one that's not filmed is the last one, which is the Superion one. This is all coming out before the five-year anniversary review, if I can get to it. So, five reviews, or six reviews, are coming out. Five of them have been filmed. Four of them have been completely edited. I am trying to start sometime on Friday. So, I guess today for some people. Um, not for me. But on Friday, today, or whatever, um, I will try to release the first one, and then daily you'll get a review. So that means that every day for a week, for six days, uh, and I want to do this so that it's between two Transformers Misfortune episodes, you will get a Canadian Reviewer Aerial Bot review. I'm trying to do that. If I can finish at least editing the Silverbolt review today, or of course, whatever, Friday. If I can finish that Friday, then I'll try to get them weekly, or not weekly, um, for the week. So you can have an Aerial Bot review week. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm not going to post a specific time of when they're going to be released. They're just going to be released whenever. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's just one more review that I got to do for the Aerial Bots uh, filming and editing. I, I filmed all the intros. And there's one review that needs editing. I have everything filmed for that. So I need to do that right after I'm done with this live stream. Then after that, I also have to focus on the five-year anniversary episode. So I need to focus really hard on that. So I can't do all these before it's out videos. I can't do all these opening videos. Well, I, all the opening videos are filmed and done. But, uh, of course, uh, Canadian Reviewer is going to take up that much time. So I don't want to spam you guys with videos. Um, I might do live streams for the New York Comic Con stuff. Uh, during those next couple of days, but we'll have to wait and see, uh, depending on if anything special or uh, significant comes out during which time. If it's just small things, I'm not going to do a whole Canadian viewer, or not Canadian, uh, live stream about it. But if something major comes out, yeah, I'll do a live stream. Um, but it's going to have to be a live stream. It's, it's not going to be like a uh, me talking to, to the camera video. Uh, because it just takes up a little too much time for me to edit and do everything. The reason why, I'll, as well, I'm doing a live stream is because I didn't just want to talk about the New York Comic Con stuff. I wanted to talk about uh, my updates currently going on with Canadian Reviewer and whatnot. So that's what's going on. The next couple of live streams are probably going to be a lot shorter than this. We'll have to wait and see. But um, with that... I am trying to get all those reviews done and filmed and out. Um, so I'm taking my time on that, focusing. Uh, I, I couldn't really work on them uh, this weekend, or last weekend, I, I should say, uh, because I was busy. Uh, we had people over, birthday stuff, you know, all that. Um, I only had time to do the opening videos, and that's because they were so simple for me to do. Um, I was really tired, so I couldn't even do some late night editing. I, I just had to uh, go to sleep right away because I was super tired. Like I, I could barely stay awake. Um, so, okay. Five people have been killed. Uh, I, honestly, I, I'm not going to read all that. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. That's what's going on. So, basic reviews, Insane Asylum, Canadian Reviewer, Toy Fair, which please check out the link for Cherry Bomb Toys. They got uh, their window busted. I was just there a couple of days ago. I know I already mentioned this in the intro. 
Uh, I just wanted to bring it back. They had they had their window busted. Some angry guy just punched their window. It, it's a freaky thing to think about. Um, it's a family-owned store, so I want you guys to go ahead and check out the link down in the description below. And if you have, please tell them, like, on their wall or maybe on the post about the window uh, that I sent you there. You don't have to. It's just I, I think it'd be kind of cool if someone would say I, I was the one who sent them. I don't know. Um, ju just makes it feel like I'm helping, I guess. Um, so yeah, that, those are the updates going on right now. Um, so yeah, right after this, I got to focus on, excuse me, I got to focus on those uh, videos. Yes, Manza, I know you have a video out. I'll look at it later. I said I'll look at it later. Be too busy. Uh, Brian, what is eight minus four? That's a trick question. I'll give you a trick answer. This many. Uh, why haven't they revealed the power of the primes of Lita one and bell trap parts figures yet? Well, we just finally got all of wave one of the legends class figures. And I believe all of wave one of the power of the primes little guys that the uh, the headmaster stuff. So I, I think they're just trying to hold back a little bit because they've already revealed a lot of stuff for the first couple of waves. And uh, hell, we even know what we're getting for the Titan class figure, of course. So I, I think they just kind of want to hold back on what they're revealing. I mean, they haven't revealed much for the movie lineup coming up. And that's probably because they've already revealed so much for the, the new line of Power of the Primes that they just really want to hold back on stuff. So, uh, did you watch Adam's uh, Bruticus Ruination video? It's funny. I have not yet. Uh, is If that's new, I have not yet uh, watched that. Hello, Rich. I'm not answering math questions anymore. <laughs> not right now. Uh, they should have revealed the full Moonracer. I agree, but this is only the first day. So, I, I imagine, I think we're going to get more in the following days. In Australia, there are Power of the Primes at some stores. Are there really? Fuck math, yeah. I'm quite excited for the Moon Racer. Yes, I, I can't wait for a uh, Moon Racer to come out. Just kidding. Ah, I knew you were. Uh, I want to get the Hot Rod. I want to get the new Last Night Hot Rod. I have a weapon for Hot Rod, and I don't have a Hot Rod to add it with. Uh, we should get Power of the Prime Seacon retools from Terracons. I would love to get the Seacons at some point. It, we very well could be. It seems like they like to do animal combiners right now, so they very well could. I would like to see Monstructor first, though. The slow mo gun. Yep, that's the that's the weapon. There you go. I need I need a hot rod to put it with. This hot rod is a, a figure that is needed for that. Let me get this guy out. You guys want me to do a simple review on a figure, a basic review right now? Even though I think I already did it, so not a basic review. Whatever. I don't know why I like this thing so much. It's the, it's the Age of Extinction one-step Grimlock. It's like... Oh! <laughs> It's cute. It's adorable. It's, it's weird. Why is it that Scorn is a big deal for the new movie when he's not even in the new movie? He doesn't even have one of the little Dinobot things for the new movie. Why do they make a Voyager class toy? And then uh, the, the, whatever, a uh, one step for him, too. I sent you a legit invisible hot rod. Oh, that, here it is. I found it. Oh, it's got so much. It, it's got more articulation than I thought. Swivel here. 
Uh, let's see. Cute. Yes, it is very cute. Uh, which type master are you going to stick in the Matrix first? Probably the one that comes with it. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, because he's a new mold and looks awesome and people seem to like him for some reason. I got to go shower. Oh, no, you don't need to shower. Do you think Barricade should uh, be more recognized as a character in Transformers lore? Yes, because he is an amazing character who has two voices in the movie. I believe I even caught in the credits that he has two voice actors, but I, I no, I think that was wrong. But yeah, he has two voices in the movie for whatever reason. They they even tried. I, I watched the last night. I watched my DVD. They tried to cut it out. And I also noticed they added a scene, maybe two scenes, but at least one of Cogman talking in the last night. Which is odd. I'm talking about Scorn. Oh, yes, Scorn is a good... Scorn looks good. I want that figure because I love the Spinosaurus. Hello, Oblivion X. We should get a new line of Beast Wars figures. Yes! Why don't we have that? Paddles is the best Dinobot. Yes! I want I want a Paddles figure for the, for the last night and for the generations. I made a Transformer out of my laptop. It can turn into a laptop mode, then into a flat thing. Wow, that looks that that uh, genius. You gonna call him flat top? I'm about to uh, wrap up this hangout, I think, in a second. I think it can fly. We'll try it. Uh, let's see. What else can I talk about? I got some Mega Constructs, Halo stuff, but I don't have it from... Uh, Flat Top was a G1 MicroMaster. I know! And that would that's what made it funny. I got some Mega Constructs. It's, on, it's in the other room. My dick, JK? Oh, well, don't tease. I made an animation and it has you. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. You said that before and it didn't, so pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, anyways, Halo is a MK ripoff. You take that back, probably. Brian, do a no handle push up right now. Okay. I did a push-up. Uh, I think there already is a third-party bus transformer. I think there's coming out one. Uh, it's a combiner. Oh, wow. You know what's weird? Why is combiners like a big deal right now? Uh, the laptop is combiner. Um, the laptops or laptop. Combiners were very rare back in the day of transformers. You wouldn't get them too often. Yeah, in Generation 1, but there was a time where, okay, combiners were completely forgotten about. That's why Power Core Combiners was a big deal when it came out. It was like, oh, we're finally getting combiner figures, even though they're not that great, um, even though I, I don't mind them. Uh, we're finally getting combiner figures, and now it's like everything needs to be a combiner. Robots in disguise, combiners. Um, Transformers uh, Generations need to have combiners. Hell, even the last night has a two-pack dragon thing that combines. Uh, just five dudes stuck together. Nothing gay about that. Well, you know, yeah. I'm trying to think of what I want at the toy fair. All right, see you uh, TF Reviews and Al. I'm trying to think of what I want at the Toy Fair coming up. I want, I want to get the robots in this guy's Skywarp, Soundwave, and Blur if they have it. 
Uh, I saw a cherry bomb toys head underbite. I might want to get that if they sell it there. Um, AT fan page one one I made. Yeah, you said that. Fuck, I'm like this close to just blocking you completely because you're fucking annoying me. I'm thinking of a Beatles song. Is it I'm a Beatle? <laughs> combiners, combiners everywhere. Everyone gets a combiner. You know what I miss? Fan made combiners. Uh, there was one on Misfire, Trigger Happy, and Slug Slinger. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Shockwave would be nice. Um, but I miss like the full on fan made combiners. I made a fan made combiner out of Ratchet and Grind War. I don't think I've ever done a review on that. I don't think I've done a video. I think I need to do a video on that. Blur is a shelf warmer all over. <sighs> Only I got the RED sound wave last night. I, I find it funny. Uh, I, I see some people in the U.S. complain, oh, we don't have the new robots in the skies. What the hell? And I'm just like, I would love to find Wave 2. Making a custom wasp in here now. Ooh. You get a combiner. He gets a combiner. She gets a combiner. Everyone gets a combiner. Opera Winfrey gets the combiner. She is the combiner. Mans is back. Come together. Uh, I I like this guy. Uh, his head reminds me of High Bro. It's funny. They have very similar heads. This guy's fantastic. I love him. Their channel is dying fast. Your channel is dying fast. Actually, did not doing that bad right now. I want my trigger happy. Trigger Happy's cool. So is Misfire. Ah. Uh, you have both of them. They're darn cool. I don't know why with 2 I'm having a problem with on uh, Transformers. You know what's actually funny? Some Wave 2 figures I'm having a difficult time looking for. Some Wave 2 figures it's like, oh, they're everywhere. Uh, the Deluxe is on Wave 2. Barely found them. All I have is uh, a top spin, and that's it. Uh, way two robots in the skies. All I have is the wind blade, because that didn't sell on Toys R Us too well. Uh, wave two uh, generations legends. Yeah, we got them. Wave two generations uh, voyagers. We, we can't. We don't have. We don't have enough broadsides. We need more broadsides. That was sarcasm. We have tons of broadsides. Sky Shadow. Yeah, we have tons of those. Didn't have a lot of six shots, but hey, at least I got one. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait to the last night. That's pretty much all we have. Um, just any of them. Uh, I have 56 subscribers for some reason. You need more subscribers. Subscribe to Chris Fellner. I'm having a difficult time finding The Last Night Wave 2 and 3 in stores. Uh, some people are having a hard time finding Wave 2 of The Last Night. I'm just like, that's we've had them for the past couple of months. They're everywhere. I, I also found it funny uh, when some of my friends... Who knows what's in my collection? And I'm not insulting them or anything. I just find it funny. It's fine. Uh, but some people will be like, Brian, do you have Wave 2 yet in your stores? I've had, I've had this for about two months. Um, 
fan. Again, not insulting anyone. I just found it funny. And then now I got the Megatron in hell. Uh, you have two broadsides on your shoulder. Oh, oh, oh now I want to get two broadsides. What's up, people? Hello, Morbid Gray. Yes, Mass Free Sideswipe would be cool. I believe you mentioned that before. Love the Steel Bane Skulltron mold. I like the Steel Bane that I have, but that's because it, it's fine on the joints. Someone tried to tell me, um, we need to, you, no, actually, I believe they told me I have to go and contact Bolt Matrix about uh, how Steel Bane is fine on mine because his was so loose. Uh, and he needs to be aware of it or something. I'm just like, I don't have contact with Bolt Matrix. I don't know how I can contact him. And then they were like, I'm not asking you to contact him. But that is what you asked. Love your voice acting. You don't love my voice acting. Nobody. I don't even love my voice acting. I'm joking. Uh, making a custom Waspinator out of Titans Returns Ryan Packs. I want to see that. I want that. I want that on my desk. Brian, should I get the Combiner War Skylinks because I have all the limbs of Skyrim? If you have all the limbs, I'd say sure, go for it. I don't have uh, any of the limbs or Skyring or Sky uh, Skylinks. I would like to get them. I like how I'm getting four subscribers a day right now. That's cool. Uh, I wonder where I'm at on subs. Let's see. I'm at 7,188. I don't know how. How am I at 7,188? I just passed 7,000 before my birthday, which is amazing. Sorry, I was just checking something. Uh, let's see. No, Bumblebee, I said I'm not going to. Your headmaster I made. Oh, yeah, the headmaster. Uh, I still haven't done anything. Uh, hey, uh, when are they going to make a new Combiner Wars or something? Sea Cons? I don't know. I would love to see that. Do we need Titans Returns Autobot Target Masters? Uh, yes. I believe they're already being made technically in the uh, Takara lineup. Who the hell thumbs down this? I don't know. Um, someone's been going around thumbs downing my videos, and I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Um, the latest Transformers Misfortune episode, right away, three dislikes. And I'm just like, I don't care. I really just don't care for dislikes. People try to still to this day dislike my videos. I'm just like, I couldn't care less. I'm also going to look into trying to sell shirts. I know I've been saying that for a while. I'm really trying to look into that, especially with the Recent, uh, some of your videos are not advertiser-friendly and limited or no ads type thing. Um, yep, three dislikes. Um, so I want to do the shirts thing because, uh, one, I can gain a little bit of money off that. And two... Um... I, I, I want to give you guys something. Um, I, I actually want to give you guys uh, some sort of product or something. I, I don't want to just be like, oh, you guys will get uh, the videos or something like that. Exclusive content. Not that I haven't thought of it. I think that would be cool. But YouTube's doing the whole thing where they're trying to avoid Patreon for whatever dumb fucking reason. God, I hate them for that. I actually, I actually hate YouTube for that. Um, but yeah, now they're doing this whole thing with Patreon that they don't like. It's, 
I, I'm not going to go into it because I haven't learned much about it, but from what I'm hearing, it it doesn't sound good. Um, but if I look more into it, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. I, I think you just need to link it somewhere, which is fine because actually YouTube's been doing that with a lot of links, so I kind of get it. Um, as far as what Rich was asking, um, Orion Pax for Waspinator, I'm not sure that sounds interesting, but I think if, if you want my personal opinion, I think maybe the highbrow would be good for a Waspinator because it already has the wings, but that might just be me. Or, or no, actually, uh, highbrow would probably be good for like a, if you're going for a Headmaster Cybertronian Beast Wars characters, I think highbrow would go for Silverbolt. Uh, Orion Pax, Waspinera, okay, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure what else I can think of that would work. Uh, Rhinox would definitely be from Highbrow, if you think of it. Because he already looks like Tankor, which would be an awesome reference to the Beast Machines Tankor that had the consciousness of Rhinox. So you could do that. So just have a normal color scheme uh, uh, Rhinox for the the highbrow mold. But then I think as far as Cheetor, you might want to go for the blur mold or the the wh whatever version uses the blur figure. I think you want to go for that. Uh, okay, uh, if you want me to, we'll make a custom transformer for anyone for $80. Uh, free shipping. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's something we'll have to talk about later on. But yeah. Uh, can Sideswipe be in Transformers Misfortune? He needs to sound like Peter Griffin. I, I keep repeating this, guys. I have the characters planned out for Misfortune. Okay. Uh, if anyone's going to be added or we need to change something, it's going to be from us. It's not going to be from, we're not, we're not asking people for ideas. I'll make my own figure. Thanks. I'll do it for 60 bucks. I'll do it for three bucks. Uh, we almost got a uh, beast machines tank or from the Titans returns high, uh, hardhead. Yeah. I remember that. Let's see. So Silverbolt for a highbrow, or either that or the, the Air Raiser or something like that. Um, or maybe that would work for Brainstorm. Yeah, I think Brainstorm, that mold for the uh, uh, Air Raiser. Chrome Dome. I, actually, no. Wheelie would be the Rat Trap. Uh, maybe the Sentinel Prime or Optimus Prime would be the uh, Optimal Optimus. Uh, Trigger Happy would be Pterosaur. Hmm. I want to say you could do the Cheever from Hot Rod, but I think it'd be better for the, the Blur. But that might just be my opinion. I don't know, Rich. Am I giving you any ideas? You let me know if this is helping. Uh, Scourge. Uh, you know what would be cool for Scourge is the Ravage. Um, it, no, the Scourge would be Scorpionock. Uh, are you still constituting that three-way? Uh, ah, shit. Something fell. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know what, Rich? You just gave me ideas, and I was thinking, uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you uh, what's some possible good ideas. So I don't know if you like any of them. Uh, let's see. What would Broadside be turned into? Yes, you are. It's man. Uh, do you ever get any Titans Returns repaint like Quake or Croc? I haven't gotten them yet, but they're on Toys R Us right now, and I'm thinking, huh, maybe I should pick them up. I'll have two number nines, one number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a large Coke, 
I love that. What if you used Weird Wires mold for Cheetor? I don't know. That looks too much like a wolf. Uh, isn't there like a, a wolf character that you could do that with? Oh, maybe the Ravage would be Wolf Wire. I don't know. Yes, actually, yeah. I, I think Wolf Wire would be uh, the Ravage, maybe. I don't know. Me. Brian, I just ordered a mem a Masterpiece Sideswipe. Good. Because I love that figure. Uh, they need to make a Transformer Nokia brick phone. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I was thinking Air Razor, and we got Windblade. That would have been Air Razor. So, yeah, I, I think that would be Air Razor. And then Highbrow would be Silverbolt. I actually now want to see the highbrow as Silverbolt and the Windblade as Air Razor now. I, I believe, didn't they uh, do that with the Generations, the original one? They did an exclusive Air Razor from the Windblade mold. Uh, ever thought of getting MP Shard Glass Optimus Prime? I thought about it, but I'm not sure. Broadside, uh, broadside should we turn into Tidal Wave? Well, there's already that figure coming out. Uh, it's already on my Toys R Us. All Spark Power Crankcase is an awful figure. Don't buy it. I have that figure. I actually like it. Uh, in real life, but is he real? Oh, I want to see T-Fan page 101 in real life, but is he real? Uh, ask the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer. Ask Vangelis. Ask uh, Aegis 3 and Up. Um, ask Alex Hugh from the Rage Nation because I've met all those people. Uh, they turned Takara Slipstream into BotCon 2016 Air Razor. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. I wish Hasbro made a Unicron Megatron hybrid as a Voyager. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, Lucky Bastard in my Walmart only has like three Titans Returns figures. Oh. Uh, what about Titans Returns Orion Pax as Leo Convoy? W oh, what if... Uh, you remolded the weird wolf as uh, or as Leo Convoy. Ooh, no, that wouldn't work. Unitron. He's referring to the Transformers Prime one. I wish they came out with the Construct Bots one. McQueen Transformer. Oh, that'd be cool. I guess. Um, yeah, I could see a Ryan Pax from Leo Convoy. I'm, I'm just trying to think what else. Uh, Perceptor. What would Perceptor be from? I guess Perceptor you could also do as a uh, Ryan Pax, but uh, I don't know. Ooh, uh, maybe Brainstorm from Depth Charge? Or maybe the Sentinel Prime mold? No. What would make a good depth charge? Would it be Scourge now? Maybe. I don't know. You've got me thinking about stuff. Do you get this joke? I went skydiving, but my parachute failed. I went all the way down, but I somehow went back up. Titans return Scorp knock anybody? Well, they have the Titans uh, Titan Master Scorp knock now. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Where's my juice? Titans returns Carnivac. I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. Um, juice, juice. So, what I did. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the what's the chat talking about? I don't know. I 
I don't know what you're talking about, man. So you're freaking me out now. <laughs> Remember, if you see Cosmos, that means that Transformer toy line is going to be canceled. I guess it's already canceled. They should be, uh, there should be an Onyx Primal repaint from Mindwipe. There is. There already is. It comes with a little Type Master, too. Like the little vehicle things. I'll put a payload in her cosmos. <laughs> Fire the Primes Jazz repaint into Backstreet. I want to see that as Ricochet. I want to see the new Jazz as Ricochet. Generations War Path as Megatron. Well, we kind of already did that backwards. What if we get a masterpiece of Orion Path? Ooh, that'd be cool. I, I would want to see that. That was Beast Wars, Optimal Primal in bat form. I mean, the bot economy pain. Maybe. Stepper, yes. Uh, also, we should get uh, SG Jazz from Jazz. Yes. I would love them to do... Th they're so into doing box sets, which is probably how we're going to get Seacons. Actually, I really think that's how we're going to get the Seacons is a box set. Um... I might do a video on that. I don't know. But I think for a box set, we should just get Shattered Glass Transformers. Shattered Glass Jazz. They have the leader class figure coming out uh, for Optimus Prime. Make a Shattered Glass one out of that. I mean, we already have the Nemesis uh, Rodimus, so we don't really need a, a, you know, a Shattered Glass Rodimus. Um... Okay, so Jazz, Optimus, what would the Voyager be? Uh, Voyager's coming out. Uh, so Shireglass, Starscream, I guess. And then one Legends toy, which I guess they could do Bumblebee Shireglass, but I don't know. Hell, you know what? Actually, they could do the Cliff Jumper in that. If you remember in the Shireglass comics, Cliff Jumper came into their universe. So. What if they just did a normal ass cliff jumper in that set? So that would be the first box set, and then the little Titan Master. I don't give a fuck. Um, hell, they don't even need that. They already have the Matrix and Optimus. And then I'm sure they'll have an Enigma, so it doesn't really matter. And then another box set for Leader Deluxe Voyager Legends. Hmm. Well, I guess they don't really need to do Power of the Prime, so maybe they could do, uh... Hmm. I'm just trying to think of maybe, like, one of the previous ones, like, maybe Megatron from Overlord? Or the Sky Shadow? Um... I would say a Shattered Glass Galvatron from the Galvatron, but no. And he transformed into a helicopter, so that wouldn't work. Um, let's see. Another Voyager they could do. Uh, deluxe figure they could do is... Let's try and think of this. Oh, Voyager Grimlock they could do as a Shattered Glass version. That'd be cool. Um be awesome if they could do a G2 box set with Grimlock, but who knows. Um, then Deluxe. I'm not sure. Maybe Sideswipe somehow. That'd be cool. Uh, Voyager should be Shagalas Grimlock. Someone already beat me to it. Voyager for the SG uh, should set should be Shattered Glass Grimlock, yes. Shattered Glass Leo Convoy would be nice. 
I don't know. It seems like a lot of people want uh, uh, Grimlock uh, to come out. Um, so yeah, they probably will do a G2 Dinobot set, as Hasbro said, they're going to do Dinobot repaints. Okay, um, maybe they'll do, like, a really, like, a burning, uh, Dinobot set, where they're all, like, orange and black. That'd be really cool to, to see. Um, I, I kind of want that now. Dragonlass Treadshot. Treadshot, that's what they should do. You know what? Fuck it. I want to get the jazz, and I'm gonna get another jazz, and I want to make an SG uh, tread shot. Here's one idea to get an official masterpiece Megatron in the U.S. What if they made him into a tank? Well, then I guess it wouldn't be a masterpiece unless they did the G2 Megatron. Uh, Share glass sound wave. Yes, uh, yes, they could do that, or a Share glass blaster. They should do SG Ultra Magnus. They could. I want them to do a box set of shattered glass. You know what? We should make a, a whole big deal about it. We should make a bunch of videos now of shattered glass. Okay, see you, man. So I'm going to head out in a second. They should do a whole box set of shattered glass stuff. And we should do videos and we should... Do tributes to it or something like that. No, not really. I'm I'm kidding. Don't really do that. It'd be cool if we could get them, but don't really. You don't have to do that. Uh, hashtag Megatron is a gun, not a fucking tank. Uh, all right. So with that, uh, I think that's where um, maybe. Uh, Shagalai Soundwave, I, I would like to see. For another box set, they should do a G2 Defensor this time. Uh... Time has come. Yes, a G2 Defensor would be cool. Uh, sorry, I'm retarded, but can someone explain what Shattered Glass is? Shattered Glass is an alternate universe where the Autobots are the bad guys and the Decepticons are the good guys. Um, if you haven't looked it up, go ahead, look up Shattered Glass Transformers because you'll see some very cool ones. Um, it's a very creative idea. Um... And it will really inspire you to make customs or something like that. Um, if we ever did a Masterpiece Megatron in the U.S., it's going to be Generation 2 uh, Megatron, but he's going to be in G1 colors. Maybe, maybe not. Hello, CX-5. Um, I'm going to head out pretty soon. Like Mirror Universe in Star Trek. I don't know much about Star Trek. I'm on my word for misery to happiness. We need a masterpiece share glass uh, thunder Yes, that'd be cool. Huh. Oh, I'm really retarded. <laughs> um... So yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so the updates rundown before it's out will come out hopefully uh, by the end of this month or halfway through it. Uh, Canadian reviewer episodes is what I'm trying to focus on. Uh, the next one will come out hopefully tomorrow or later on or something. I don't know. Uh, the opening videos I'm trying to work on. Uh, I also have to work on the Toy Fair video when that comes out. Uh, I need to do a lot of video stuff. So, Ooh, Voyager Torn would be cool. So, anyways, uh, with that said, those are the updates. I want you guys to really check out Cherry Bomb Toys on Facebook if you can. Um, again, broken window, it's unfortunate, and I want you guys to do that, help them out. Uh, they're also the people that uh, host the toy fair that I go to. So if you guys could check them out, that'd be awesome, and tell them that I send you if you can, or don't, or do whatever. Um, so with that, 
I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. Trying to think of something to end this with. Something funny. What's going on the with the Power of the Primes Terracons? I want those Terracons. They look so cool. Broken window, shattered glass. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay, see you guys later. Transformers, they're cool. Bye. Hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize this. That'd be good. The three-way, yes. You sound like Tommy Wiseau? You sound like Tommy Wiseau. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I messed up.